my name is Quentin Croft. I'll let you guys log on. Um, I'll give you guys a couple minutes to log on. I'm sorry I'm a couple minutes late. My son, we he's a binky baby, and we could not find his binky. He was on a clip, and he took it off and threw it somewhere, and it took us forever to find it. So, found it, got him to bed. <laughs> so, miracles. Little miracles. So, go ahead and comment when you're here so I know who's on. Um, hi, Brianna. Is it Brianna or Brianna? Tell me now just so I don't like if we're conversing back and forth because I really like open forum trainings. I like to be able to talk to you guys. Um, so tell me Brianna or Brianna. Um, and so while you guys are logging on, I'll go over what I have on. Um, every product on my face is unique. I never um, don't use unique products. So um, Brianna, got it. Okay. So all over my face, I have our Liquid Touch Foundation and then I highlighted using, um, hi Lindsay, I highlighted using concealer, hi Babette, and then um, I used our sculpting trio, I set it all with powder, I used a little bit of our bronzer in Malibu, you're welcome, and a little bit of our blush in Scandalous, um, and then for my highlight I used the eyeshadow from palette for the really pale one. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Hi, Jordan. Um, on my eyes, I used a mixture of shadows from palettes one and four. And on my lips, I actually used swanky lipstick all over and then I took cocky eyeshadow from palette two and patted that over the top and then used our lip brush to um, define it really well. Um, hi, uh, we got Danielle, Ashley, Heather, and Donna. Hi, 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 hi. I'll try and catch you all as you log on, but I know there's a lot of you. Um, so Nikki has asked me to do a special guest training for you guys. So you guys probably don't know me. Um, <laughs> I am over, hi, Lindsay. I am over in um, Utah. We are not on the same team per se. Hi, Nikki. But, um, I am a part of the Unique family. I have um, my own little little group of ladies. Um, I call them the Fierce Flawless Females. And um, hi, is it is it Jereen? Jereen? Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. Tell me how to pronounce it. You can like write it out like phonetically. Um, so I really like open forum training. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, and then. Um, you guys can ask me questions and I will answer them. So um, Nikki wanted me to talk to you guys about how I went from yellow to green this summer. Um, I hit yellow in May and I hit green in August. So it can be done. It is hard work, I will say that, but I'm gonna talk about a few different things. So there are, um, there are a few things that, hi Debbie, that get you. To green and that are really important so I really hope that you have a notebook ready hi Mindy um, or co come back and watch it and take notes just like oh cute tangerine I got it Jereen I like that that's cute um, is it Sharissa 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 Charissa I like all these names there's so many fun names um, okay so back to business <laughs> So one of the main things for me is being consistent and I'm going to go into all these things in depth. So the first thing we'll talk about is being consistent and the second thing we're going to talk about is attitude um, and I'm going to break them down. So consistency. Um, <laughs> thanks, Doreen. Um, so consistency and when I say consistency, I do mean consistency. I touch my business every single day. I touch my business, whether that means that I am reaching out to customers, that I am talking to five people a day um, who are new people that have never bought from me, that I am doing a live video, that I'm posting a selfie. I'm touching my business in one way or another every single day. Okay? Every day. Um, but something that, that I do that not a lot of people do, this is just kind of my shtick. I actually do live videos six days a week. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but I'm a mom. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have two kids under three. My daughter turns three in November. Hi, Nikki. Um, and my son is 15 months old. So, 
I have two toddlers running around my house driving me nuts all day long. I'm trying to keep my house clean. I'm trying to do um, all the, the things that are on my huge list of things to get done because as many stay-at-home moms know, we have a big list. We have a big list of things that have to get done around the house, of things that have to get done for the family, and then add my business on top of that and my kids. So it's crazy. So how do I do it every day, except Sundays? I refuse to go live on Sundays. That's one thing I don't do. Um, I take Sundays off. I post a selfie on Sundays, but I don't go live. Um, so how do I do it? Prioritizing. Prioritizing is huge, okay? We only have 24 hours in a day and you're usually sleeping for six to eight of those. So here's the thing, you have to prioritize your time. I, um, I plan out my day. I plan it out, whether it be a written down list or I have, I should have brought it down here with me. I have a planner and hi Jessica and in my planner and you can go buy a planner at Office Max for like 10 bucks and um, It'll have like the big calendar month in it as you open it up and then it'll break down that month by day with like paragraph sections that you can write in and there's like note sections on the sides and so I actually will write at the beginning of the month I'll write all my goals off to the side in the in this notes section next to the calendar and then I will write all my main events and big things that are going on on those things and as things pop up like when I book a party I will write it on that day so that I know like I have a party starting next week I need to make sure like I have a party starting tomorrow like you know it's it's there it's there and it's written down it's not in my phone because I feel like the phone calendars are really hard to see like you have to like zoom in you have to like click on things and this is just all laid out for you and then you can go into the notes and I will write out at this time I'm doing this 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 and that way it gives me a little bit of clarity in a day that can get really chaotic with two kids especially when they're little hi Jessica Jacqueline and Amy so um I prioritize my live videos. So with live videos, this is something that it's really hard for a lot of women. Hi, Carissa. But let me tell you, live videos are so important. Over 70% of the media consumed on the internet is videos. And that number is growing every single day. So you need to make sure that you are remaining current with how people are consuming information. So even if that means that you go live once a week, remain consistent with that so that your customers know and your VIPs or if you do it in a VIP group, which is what I do, um, they know that you're gonna be there at, on this day at this time. Uh, my customers know that I'm gonna be there Monday through Friday in my VIP group and Saturdays on my personal wall, which I opened up as a public page so that anybody can watch those videos. Um, and when your customers can rely on you, you're more like a business and less like, um, hi Ashley, and less like a girl that just kind of like sells mascara on the side. You're an actual business person. You are in business. They know that you're in business. So be consistent. Touch your business every day. Prioritize your time. That is huge. Okay, um, so here's here's a few things with live videos that kind of like got me thinking and I didn't even realize that I was saying these things until my black status upline was like, Quentin, that's genius. Um, I don't do my makeup except on Sundays. So take Sundays out of this. Monday through Saturday, I do not do my makeup without being on camera unless I'm practicing for being on camera because what's the point? I'm gonna be putting on my makeup anyway. I might as well be in front of the camera. Um, videos are, I mean, when I started doing the live videos, that is when I saw the jump from white to yellow. I, in, at the end of April, was like, okay, I'm actually gonna try. And I went from white to yellow in less than a week because of live videos. And then, because of those live videos, I started meeting more people. So live videos are huge. So I actually have had more people reach out to me from my VIP group who watch my live videos. Probably half the girls that I have personally signed were customers that watched my live videos that thought, that is so fun. I love that you do that. I love that you are an advocate for us. I love that you're there. I love watching you put your makeup on. And they would message me about the business opportunity. 
it's right there for you. It is a tool that is for you. The cool thing about Facebook, if you go live, um, if you do it on your personal wall, it puts you at the top of the news feed on everybody's news feed. Yes, on Saturdays I go live on my, my personal wall and then um, Monday through Friday it's in my VIP group and I give them like a 30 minute warning. I usually do it, so when I when do I do my live videos is a question I get a lot. Um, okay, my son still takes a nap every day. I put him down for his nap. I know that his nap is between 12 and 12.30. Um, I usually know about 30 minutes before he's going to go down like where in that time frame it's going to fall because of his attitude. So I will pop on 30 minutes before and say, hey, I'm going to go live in 30 minutes. Um, so my customers are prepared. Now, um, my daughter, what do I do with her? I give her a snack and I put on one of her favorite shows. And there's nothing wrong with giving your kids a little bit of TV time so that you can touch your business. So as long, and sometimes, you know what, she comes over and interrupts me all the time, but people love it. People love it. Hi, is it Esmia and Katie? Um, people love it when my daughter comes on camera, and in fact, I use her a lot in my videos. Um, I use my kids. I take videos of me kissing my kids, or of my daughter doing my makeup, or different things like that. People love your kids. It makes you real. It makes you a real person. So don't be ashamed. Like if your kids come over in the middle of your video and tell you that they have to go potty because this happens probably three times a week in the middle of live. I'll be like doing my mascara. My daughter will come over and she goes, mom, I could go potty. And I'm like, okay, one second. And I'll like run, take her potty and I'll come back. And people are like laughing. They're like, oh yeah, my daughter does this to me all the time. Like people love it. So be consistent. Um, through through it all and make sure that you're just kind of rolling with the punches during live videos. They're so fun and you can converse with people just like you guys are seeing right now. I can talk to you guys. Um, so now the results that I saw from live videos, I got tons more followers from my live videos. I got a ton more purchases. Like obviously I'm not allowed to say specific numbers, but I will say that my my PRS every month is enough to be my own circle every month. So I don't have to worry about that um, because of live videos, because people are seeing the makeup applied to a face. Hi, Lisa. Um, I became um, better in my conversation skills because I'm having to talk to a screen. <laughs> so um, hi, Emma. When I'm talking to people out in the open now, I'm much more comfortable because I'm used to talking all the time to a screen. Like. <laughs> I had to entertain myself staring at a screen. So I'm really good at now at conversing with people face to face. Um, and the most important thing is obviously planting seeds. I say this to my team all the time, like you're planting seeds, you're a farmer. So they're like the little seeds that you plant. They might not sign up now, they might not buy now, but in two months, in three months, in two weeks, in a year from now, those people, when they think unique, they're gonna think of you. Um, I do them, Bob at the exact same way. So um, in my VIP group, so I will say this, I plan out my week in my VIP group. Tuesdays I do something called back to basics and I just do one technique like how to do eyeliner or how to do lip stain or how to do contouring. I just, um, based on what my clients have really been asking me a lot about, um, I will do just one technique in that video instead of my full face. And then Wednesdays, I do something with our kudos. And Fridays, I do something called VIP Friday where all the looks that they send me from Pinterest that they want to see, I'll pick one and I'll tag the girl that send it to me. And then Mondays and Thursdays, I do what I want. Um, and then Saturdays on my personal wall, I will usually do a look that I've already done um, or I'll do something fun. Like sometimes I do those makeup challenges that you see on YouTube, like how I did my makeup in high school or, um, I will like get on and I will kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but I'll say, okay, I want to use this palette. What color do you guys want to see? And people will pick the colors live and it's so fun. Um, or I'll post a Pinterest picture and say, hey, here's pictures one through five. What do you guys want to see? Bring your makeup bags. Get ready with me. And people love that. And I just am fun and I make it fun and I tell jokes. For a long time, I listened to music while I was doing it and I would sing along to the music, but don't do that because Facebook will put you in jail now. Um, they're really cracking down on music copyrights. Hi, Melissa. I don't know if I said hi yet. <laughs> um, so... Consistency and live videos, huge, 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 huge. And then attitude. This is something 
um, that is really important. Um, you need to get your attitude in check. Like you need to be positive, right? Um, but not like, hi, I'm like so positive all the time. Hi, Kathleen, not fake positive. I'm talking about constructive. So not like groundless optimism that like you're falling off a cliff to your death and you're like, everything's gonna be okay. No, like you have a problem solving attitude instead of a negative attitude. So when a problem does arise, cause they do, problems arise, customer gets makeup that exploded in the mail. Instead of going, oh, I'm so mad at Unique, how could they send this to her? Have a problem solving attitude and be like, oh my gosh, let me contact support for you. I am so sorry this happened to you. We will get you taken care of. Have a problem solving attitude in everything, not just customer service, this is where it's huge. In recruiting and with your team, having a problem solving attitude is going to get you from yellow to pink to blue to green to orange to purple to black and stay there. Um, so how do you do this? You have to train your mind to stop a negative thought pattern before it starts. So an exercise that you can do is when you're thinking throughout the day, just when you're doing something in the middle of what you're doing, say, what am I thinking right now? And then is it, is it a positive thought or is it a negative thought? And if it's a negative thought, think about how you got onto that track. And then that way you can start identifying your negative thought process as it starts happening. Um, so you attract the energy that you spread out. So if you're being negative, your girls on your team will be negative. Hi, Christina. Um, you know, and if you're being negative, your customers are gonna be negative. It's just gonna read through in every aspect of your business. But specifically with recruiting, being positive is huge. Um, I saw this summer something in me that clicked in um, June. So I had signed, in May, I hit pink and I had signed one girl and then I like couldn't sign anybody for like a month. Um, and the reason was that I kept thinking, this is hard. It's so hard to sign people. It's so hard. And it because I kept thinking that, it was hard. It was really hard for me to sign people because I kept telling myself it was so hard. And um, the second that I changed my attitude about it, I started signing people. And now I have 35 people on my team. I went from zero at the end of April, one in May, and now I have 35. And it, it keeps growing every day. I'm not kidding. Like it, it's continually growing because I'm remaining positive. And because I'm positive, my girls are remaining positive. So especially if you're stuck at yellow and you're like, I can't sign somebody. It's so hard. Guess what? There's people out there that are signing people every day. Yeah, it's hard, but you have to go, okay, so it's hard. So what can I do to make it easier? What can I do to break through this boundary? You have to have a problem solving attitude because if you just sit there and complain and say, it's hard, like it's hard to book parties. It's hard to do this. It's hard. like, okay. Yeah, I know. I know it's hard. I'm working my butt off and I'm doing it. And there are girls out there that are working their butts off and they're doing it too. Like seriously, you're really going to tell me like you're going to complain because you're not getting off your butt and working hard. You have to work hard. That's that's the, you know, that's the deal. So, check your attitude and be consistent. Those are the two things that helped me get my butt into gear. Yes, there are days that I do not want to go live. There are days that I legitimately don't want to message five people. There are days that I do not like thank you, thank you. So, there are days when like I do not want to pop on and do a team training for my girls because I would rather hang out with my husband because he's been gone all day and I've been with the kids all day and I'm going insane and I'm like, oh, the last thing I want to do right now is train. But like, get over yourself. Okay? <laughs> like, here's the thing. Here's a quote. Um, you cannot expect to succeed if you only work on the days that you feel like it okay you just can't because there are days 
as a mom, we've all been there if you're a mom, where you do not want to wake up. You do not want to get up out of bed. You do not want to put lunches together. You do not want to clean the house. You do not want to change this poopy diaper. You don't feel like doing any of this, but you do it anyway, right? Like when you're, if you're a mom who nurses, like, and your baby's screaming at two o'clock in the morning because they're hungry and they're two weeks old, you do not feel, that's the last thing you feel like doing is getting out of bed and taking your boob out and feeding your baby. But what do you do? You feed your baby. So why is your business any different? And the same thing, like if you work a full-time job and you're scheduled to work that day, do you ever just not go to work because you don't feel like it? Or do you ever just show up and not do anything? Like, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like working today, boss. No, you don't. So why is it any different when you're running your own business? Because it takes willpower. Because you have to be um, self-motivated. Motivation is something that nobody else can do for you. That's a self thing. You can be inspired inspired by other people, but nobody else can motivate you and it is nobody else's job to motivate you. You need to be motivated and you need to be able to do all these things. So, um, hi Jessica. So everything boils down to one thing, this whole training. So through the consistency, through being positive and doing my daily actions, touching my business every day, um, that yes, that shaped me. But there's one underlying reason and that's my why. Find your why. Find your why. Why did you join Unique? Why did you join Unique? Okay, so for me, originally I signed up because I wanted the discount. Why did I get started with it? After being a stay-at-home mom who did not work for two and a half years, I had completely lost myself in motherhood. I resented my husband because he got to go to work every day. He got to be away from our family every day. I resented him a lot. And that wasn't fair because, I mean, being a stay-at-home mom was our choice for me. And it's my choice. And I want to stay at home with my kids and raise them. But I resented him and I felt like I had such a, such a thankless job and da -da -da -da. like I was just super negative and I had like lost myself in this motherhood and I wanted something that was mine. I wanted something that was mine. And on top of that, I wanted to contribute to our family income and it like physically hurt me that I was not contributing anything to our family income and we just bought a house and all these things, but I didn't feel like they were mine. I felt like like a, like a kid, like he was my dad and he would buy me all this stuff and it wasn't mine. Like I didn't pay for that, I didn't do that, I didn't earn that, like, do you get what I mean? And so for me, I wanted something that was mine and then I wanted to be able to contribute to our family income so that we could be completely debt free. Um, so that, um, little backstory about me, I did not grow up rich at all. You can ask Nicole, actually she has seen the teeny house that I used to live in, that I grew up in, um, was about 750 square foot house that I grew up in, me and my single mom. And um, my sister um, has three children out of wedlock and we were always helping her out. And I was constantly, I was involved in school. I was on the honor program and I was the captain of the drill team. And so I was really busy and we couldn't afford a lot. We could barely, we couldn't even afford the drill team. And so I never really got to do a lot of fun things with my friends. They would always go, hi Kaylin. Um, they would always go like, skiing on the weekends in the winter and all these fun things and I was like sorry I can't go like or we'd be out shopping I never bought anything my friends would always buy stuff I would never buy anything and so for me um it really like affected me growing up knowing that like I couldn't buy anything and I never want my kids to feel that way and I know that might sound really dumb but I never want my kids to be out with their friends and to know that they're the poorest person there and that they can't buy anything and and even now I want to be able to go to the mall with my girlfriends and buy myself a damn dress 
if it was a hundred bucks and I just felt like buying the damn dress, I want to be able to buy it. And I hate that I would like, always call my husband and be like, hey, like, I really like this skirt. <laughs> you know, I felt like a little kid again. And so now, um, now that I've hit green and I have financially um, prioritized everything, um, I pay for all of our groceries. You guys, I'm like gonna cry. This was the coolest thing um, when I started buying our groceries. My, like I came home that day, I was so excited. I was like gonna cry in the checkout line when I pulled out my unique card and I paid for our groceries. And my husband was like, babe, like, I noticed that you haven't been, like, he's like, where'd all these groceries keep coming from? I haven't seen anything because, like, we watch our our money on an app. He's like, I haven't seen you spending anything at the grocery store. And I was like, well, that's because I've been paying for it with my unique money. And he, like, was just so proud of me. And it was the coolest feeling, you guys, to be able to contribute financially to my family. And I know that groceries might not be a big deal or like buying my daughter this really cute dress up dress that she's been dying to get. And I went and bought it for her and I like didn't even have to like think about it. It was so, it's such a cool feeling. So you need to find your why. Thanks for the likes. You need to find your why and use it. Let that drive you, let that motivate you to be consistent and be positive. And that's what's gonna get you from yellow to pink. Your attitude, when you find your why and you have that infectious passion, people are gonna wanna be signed up on your team. Oh, speaking of, one second. Okay, hurry, hurry. Perfect timing, Mia. Perfect timing. <laughs> she would not let my husband take her to the potty. So she had to run downstairs to our basement to make me take her to the potty. <laughs> so I hope that that makes sense. I'm going to open it up for questions now. <laughs> you are so welcome, Danielle. Um, please ask me questions. I'm going to leave you guys um, space now. I'm terrified to do a live video. Um, you know what? Amy... You would be surprised. Um, please feel free to share this with your teams. Feel free to share this with anybody. <laughs> you guys, um, something that you should know about me, I am realer than real. Like, I keep it real, okay? <laughs> My girls know, like, sometimes I've got one girl who she can get really negative, and she will come to me, and I'm like, girl, stop being negative. Do you want a group so it's only, okay, so if you want to start, I'm going to go back to Amy's question. Amy, do it in a VIP group. Do it in your party. Do it for a party. Start by doing it in a party group or just a small group of people. And then as you get a little bit more comfortable, do it on your Facebook wall. But I will say you would be shocked on your personal Facebook who will pop on and chat with you. And you will be shocked like who actually starts to buy from you after doing it on your personal Facebook wall. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, yes, you can share this. And yes, I am real. And I think I said hi to Jennifer, but I'm not sure. Hi, Jennifer, if I didn't say hi. Um, any other questions? Uh, yes, I agree. Okay. Yes. Um, I actually love, the reason why I love doing it on my personal Facebook wall is I will actually have guy friends um, who are married, who have wives who will pop on and they're like, oh, hey. Exactly, Christina, exactly. Um, okay, so Babette, so here's the thing. This is something that I was talking about with my girls. They're like, you know what? I, I have to be somewhere at eight in the morning so I get ready that early. Pop on that early, you will be shocked. Hi, Nicole. You will be shocked, Babette, who is actually on at that time and anybody can watch the replay. Um, I do team trainings every week on Tuesdays in a team. I have a team page for my girls and I do a live training with them. I call it Training Tip Tuesday. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the guys actually because it's it's actually been um, pretty cool 
because they tell their wives about it and then their wives who I might not even be friends with on Facebook add me on Facebook and start watching my videos. Um, so it, it can open and broaden your network. I'm serious. So you can be totally nervous, but even if you just did it in your VIP group, if you have a VIP group for your customers, if you don't, I highly recommend having one um, because they know what they're in for. They know that they're there to look at makeup. They know that they're there for you to show them something awesome. Um, and that's a great way to help your network and people can add people to the group. Um, so I do trainings once a week. Yes, trainings. I do, um, Danielle, I do live videos six days a week. <laughs> once a week on my personal wall, yes. Sometimes twice a week. Sometimes I'll do like a surprise live. Hi, Megan. I'll do a surprise live like at nighttime sometimes because sometimes it's fun to switch up the time that you're on. And I'm usually on during that lunchtime when my son is taking a nap. So sometimes I will actually go live at nighttime because you'll catch a whole different audience at different times of the day. And I just give them like a heads up at the beginning of the day, like, hey, I'm so excited. I'll be going live at 10 p.m. tonight because I know that both my kids will be asleep and my husband can go watch golf or something upstairs. <laughs> I'm so nice to him. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go watch golf. Go watch ESPN. Have fun. Or actually, sometimes I'll do it on Thursdays. My husband has a bowling league and I will go live while he's at bowling because he doesn't get home until like midnight. Um... And on those times, I do it on my personal wall when it's like a special one. I do have a VIP group and go live at least once a day. I'm going to challenge. Yes, I, I'm i challenging you, Amy, to do it on your personal Facebook wall. What I, So what do you do live at night? I do, I wash my face. I wash all my makeup off. And then I will go live and do a full face of makeup. And people love it. People love it. They love the nighttime videos. And they're like, you look so pretty and you're not even going anywhere. And I'm like, Ugh. I'm just pretty for you guys like people love it and your makeup is a tax write-off so don't be concerned about wasting makeup and it's never a waste if it's on camera and then I know a trick um, whether you have Android phone or iPhone to save your live video and post it to your YouTube channel if you have one and I can post that trick in here for you Oh, um, I, a question I get a lot, nobody's asked me this one yet, but a question I get a lot from everybody is where I get my makeup ideas. Pinterest, YouTube, I'll be watching TV shows like The Voice and someone will turn around and be like, oh, I like, like they'll have like amazing makeup on and I will like pause the channel and take a picture and then like start looking at it and going, oh, I could do that. Or if I don't know like how to do it, I will go, I will post it. It's actually super easy. Um, I'll, it's a, I'll, it's a video to show you how to do it, but I'll explain it right now if you want me to. Um, if you go to the, the video itself and hit play and then hit pause and then you right click it and you can hit show video link. Then you copy and paste that link into a new tab or new window or whatever and erase the HTTP www dot part and put M dot in front of Facebook so it takes you to the mobile site and then hit play and pause again on the video right click again and it'll give you an option to download the video to your computer so you can download it and then you can upload it to YouTube on your computer and so it doesn't matter if you shot it on an Android phone or an iPhone or if you're having a problem with the YouTube app whatever you can do this with any live video you're welcome <laughs> and I will I will post um, the video that I found of how to, <coughs> how to do that because my YouTube app actually would not allow me to upload any Facebook live videos and it was really annoying um yeah so make sure that you guys are staying okay okay <laughs> so parties classes um, or as Nikki calls them glam Academy which I love and I totally use this week and People love that. Um, hi, Heather. I've never done YouTube any times. Yes, I'll get to that, Ashley. So, Emma, um, I, when I'm asking girls to host a party, I do it in a way that's benefiting them. Um, one way that I do that is I'm like, hey, I noticed that you, like, customers that buy from me all the time, I'm like, hey, you, 
you are a great customer. Have you ever thought of hosting a makeup class for your friends? And I would go live just for you and your friends and do the, the tips and techniques that you guys want to learn. And we could just call it like your online makeup class and nobody has to attend because it's just on Facebook and they're like, oh yeah. But another way I actually did, this is this was super, super successful. I had three brand new products on hand that I hadn't opened or you could do it online. Um, and I posted earlier in the day doing a flash live giveaway in my, in my VIP group. Come and join me at this time. You have to be present to win. So I got on and I told them the rules. The rules were that I would hold up an item and the first person to say, I will host a makeup class gets the item for free and I will ship it to them. Um, and that way I actually had so many people that wanted to do makeup classes because they wanted that item for free and then they were more invested in this makeup class because they got something from me. Does that help? Um, that's a really quick, easy way. Or posting, even posting on your personal wall like, hey, a lot of you guys have been asking me how to get free makeup. If you want to know how, send me a message or something like that. Um, Ashley, who has never done YouTube, any tips? Yes. Um, YouTube, I would suggest uploading if you've done any video trainings for your teams. If you have done any really cool, you're welcome. If you have done any cool training videos or any pretty much all of your tutorials, post them on your YouTube channel because not everybody has Facebook and then you can send people to your YouTube channel like your crazy Aunt Mildred who doesn't have Facebook but she can access YouTube at any time and she could go on your YouTube and watch it. I did. I did, Bobette. I waited until um, the party started but I, I told them, I messaged them, I was like, okay, um, the first person to comment, I, and they had to write, I will host a makeup class, not I want that item. And then um, I messaged them immediately and set up their party date, which all they all started within the following week. And then I had four other girls message me after that video that they wanted to do a makeup class, even though that they didn't get um, one of the free items, that they still wanted to do it because they, I told them in the video, you get free makeup for hosting a makeup class. Hi, Miranda. Um, but then I just waited until the party started and then I shipped out their item. So it was really a quick, easy way to get party hostesses. And you could do it at the beginning of the month and have like five, because say you want to do five parties that month or whatever. And do like, I kind of, you can do it where like you could do small to big items. Yes. Yes, Christina, you can. It's crazy and time consuming, but you can. Um, hi, Miranda. Um, so what items did I use? You can do mascara and you can start like, say you could start with a mascara, a lipstick, something small and work your way up to a palette. If you want to, that's up to you. What you do, I did two mascaras and a lip bonbon and people went crazy. Um, and then I'll do giveaways once a month. To keep people engaged, keeping your customers engaged is huge and keeping things fun and fresh. Um, I do giveaways at least once a month and I'll do, um, right now I have one going on if they share one of my live videos from my VIP group. Okay. So I let my hostesses know that they can get a ton more money in YCash if they participate. And I'm really good at hostess coaching. I coach them. I'm First of all, I make my hostess start the group. I don't start the group. She starts the group. She invites her friends. She posts the cover photo in the group. I will give it to her and she can post it. It is, that is her responsibility. And then this is what I say. Okay, this is the way the party works. You're gonna start a group. We're gonna call it this. You're gonna add me and um, I will go live every day. If you could just comment and like um, everything, comment on everything and like everything, it's going to get people more active because they're going to know that you're interested in the product and they're going to buy more and you're going to earn more free product. Um, 
but also I make sure that they write a welcome message to their party and then I pop on on a live video and do a welcome live video right after they post a welcome message. And then that way, um, it's a team effort. I'm the one doing most of the work and all she's doing is like, you guys, I love this unique makeup. You're gonna love Quentin. She's really great at doing makeup. She'll show you how to do whatever you want. And then I post a poll. I ask a lot of questions. I try and get a lot of people involved. And then um, there's an option in the groups. At the bottom, you, there's a thing that says seen by, and you can click on that and you can see everybody that's seen the post. And so then you can like shout them out and be like, hey, so-and-so, like in the comment section, how did you like this look? And tag them in it and that's really successful. Like, Or I'll post a poll question. I'm like, what techniques do you guys wanna learn in this makeup class? And I'll notice that like, these two women really wanted a five minute face and these two women really wanted a cut crease and these two women really wanted a, a dark lip or these women wanted to see how to use the skincare. And I will comment and tag them I'll post like a previously recorded live video because um, I'll do one one person alive every day but I will also post pre-recorded live videos and I will tag those women that wanted to see that look in the comment section so that they automatically double see that post and then they'll go and watch it and they'll comment back so I am always engaging people that way it's more successful or and they have a higher success rate I do suggest if you haven't Go on YouTube and watch Kara Lewis Newton. If you don't know who KLN is, you need to follow her. She's the party queen. If you haven't heard of her, you must have been living under a rock because she's insane and she actually has her party script on YouTube. Go follow her. No, no, Ashley, I don't. I actually just share them from my VIP group because... Um, I don't like having to save them on my phone and reposting them because you could get into Facebook jail that way. So I actually just share them from my VIP group and it still automatically pops up in auto, auto plays even by doing that. Um, and I've had a really high success rate doing it that way. You're welcome. Any other questions? Thank you, Nikki, for um, letting me do this. Yes, it is. And you guys are more than welcome to come follow me. I close it um, when I do giveaways just for... Christina, you don't know what Facebook jail is. I will describe it to you. Yes, and then they have my VIP group link, which I also post at the end of my party. I invite everybody to join my VIP group. Mine is closed. Yes, so that's, I keep my group public unless I'm doing um, a flash sale when in which you have to close your group um but you guys can follow me at magic in my makeup on my group it's my my group is called that i have a page that i just started working with to kind of see how the business page works but um i do all my tutorials in um the group magic in my makeup you guys are more than welcome to follow me and get ideas nikki is a part of that group um because i thought no, you have to have them closed if you're doing a flash sale or giveaway. So you can close it for that, but you can leave it public the rest of the time. Um, yeah. I actually just went over that with my black status to make sure that I was obeying the rules. But the reason why I leave it public, yep, see, Nikki knows. Um, the reason why I leave it public, why? Because if you're watching a live video in a public forum, it notifies all of your friends. Which means when girls are watching my live videos, some of their friends get notifications that they are watching Magic in My Makeup Live and they will click on that. Why wouldn't you want to broaden your network? Keep your group public unless you're doing a giveaway. It just makes it a lot more sense. Because here's the thing, people might copy your ideas, but who cares? Who cares if people copy your ideas? Yes. They only need to be closed when you're doing a giveaway. Yeah, so who cares if people copy your ideas? The, the great thing about being in, in this business is nothing's ever brand new. Like you might have an idea, but once you execute it, it's online and people can copy it. So take ideas from other presenters, from all the YouTube people, it's fine. But make it your own, obviously be yourself and make it your own. But um, if people copy you and you're upset about it, 
Get over that. Get over it. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will post that YouTube video of how to um, save a Facebook Live to your computer and then post it to your YouTube channel. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Nikki, for letting me come and do this. And all of you ladies were so nice and I had so much fun talking to you guys. Um, please feel free to message me or um, if you ever have questions um, or if, whatever, reach out to me if you need to. My name again is Quinton Croft, Q-U-I-N-T-I-N-C-R-O-F-T. Um, oh, thanks, Nikki. Hi, Megan. You're going to have to watch from the beginning because I'm all done, but nice to meet you. <laughs> and um, thank you, ladies. You guys were so nice. Thanks, Bobette. <laughs> um, hi, Crystal. So you are so welcome, and I had a blast, and um, I hope that you guys took something from this and that it made sense because I'm like, I feel like I'm all over the place sometimes. <laughs> I like have all my notes in front of me. I have like five notebooks in here because <laughs> that's how my brain works. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much, ladies. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Nikki. And um, it was so nice to meet all of you and have a wonderful evening and go hang out with your husbands now or your boyfriends or your partners or your kids. Whoever you want to go hang out with, go hang out with them. All right, I'm logging off now. See you later. Huh. Oh, yeah. Um, she scribbles all over my notebooks. Like, uh huh. Mm hmm. Yep. All over. All right. Thank you guys. Love ya. See ya. <laughs>